Hey, it's Pete here and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament. Let's jump straight in and see how we can go. So this is eight boards on BBO. If you haven't played it before, click Solitaire Bridge, then weekly free. And yeah, here we have a flat 11 count, uh, third seat and nil vol. So I would usually, like, not vulnerable in third seat, I would definitely open this hand under normal conditions. The fact that this is a best hand tournament and I don't have the spades means that I've got a fair chance that maybe I can just pass this out um, because I know that West doesn't actually have more than 11 points. So using like the rule of 15, which usually only applies to fourth seat, um, where it's like pass, 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 do you open it or not, where you count your high card points and uh, the amount of spades you have because if it's a part score hand spades are really really important So with that in mind, I think that this will get passed out and I don't have spades I don't even have that good a heart. So I think passing this in and trying to Not battle for the part scores the way to go. So let's pass and see how we did 50% so uh, Someone bid and made three no trumps. So diamond, a spade, a no trump, two hearts from partner. And they volunteered two no trump invite and their partner said, you know what, I have a really nice nine count. Why not? And um, yeah, then got to three no trumps, uh, which can be beaten. So basically partner's got both majors and the points are split 20-20. Um, so getting to a no trump is actually what we want to do. I think stopping in two hearts, uh, like this is a sensible auction. Diamond, a spade, you can't pass because you don't want to play a 4-2 fit. A no trump, two hearts. Just pass it. Um, I think that's the other alternative, but I thought it's more likely that the opponents have the major suit sort of um, part score battle. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Vanessa just said, I got the Twitch alert and you've already played board one. Um, well, to be fair, I just passed in the board. So, like, that, that hardly counts. But, yeah, I'll take my 50%. And, yeah, move on to board number two where we have an absolute powerhouse. So, here we've got 19 highs and a good six-card suit. So, looks like I want to double and bid hearts. Um, if I was to make... Uh, slam. I'd need my partner to have like King Jack of Clubs and the Queen of Diamonds. So we're in like slam territory with my partner having six points. Um, so okay, and they're looking better for having the club suit available. So how much do I want to? How far do I want to push this to try and bid slam in hearts? So like. The, the very easy bid I could do is just bid four hearts, but we're, we're really not going to buy that there. Um, East has, like, some extras. If they were, like, just a minimum opening hand, I'd pass here. So I've got 19, and East has about 16-ish. So that's 35. So there's about five points my partner can have. So I reckon that will, like... I, I think I'll go the low road and bid four hearts, but if my partner's got... King Jack 10 fifth glove, we might still make slam. So I'd really want to, like, I don't think three hearts is, I don't know, it says 20 plus total points. Um, I was going to say, I think three hearts can be passed, but it looks like it's stronger than just jumping to four hearts. So while I have that chance, let's, let's do that. And partner's just like, nah, not interested, supposedly. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they really shouldn't be interested with that hand. Okay, good news, we're probably going down here. So my partner's got four points, all of which are in spades. So, uh, 19 and 4, 23, 17 missing. East has pretty much everything. Um, so, uh... I want to, it looks like I've got three club losers and two diamond losers. Now diamonds could break 3-3. Three, three. Uh, 
So spades are six five two zip. I wonder why my partner didn't offer three no trump with that holding. Seems very three no trump appropriate holding. Here I was talking about slam, and I'm still struggling to work out how I might even potentially make game. So hearts are four one, so east is like a six one three three. Um, now if I go like ace king of diamonds exit a uh, diamond they can just play the ace of spades and I have to ditch a club and I'll go down still so maybe I need them to have like ace king doubleton club and four low diamonds uh, in which case I've still got two diamond losers which is no good um, Um, so we have successfully drawn trumps. Now what? Um, I guess ace king of diamonds diamond. Looks like I'm just gonna go down one. Man, like down one is like super optimistic on this hand. Okay, so there a six one three three. So I'll we'll just exit like club and now they just get to go ace of spades. If I rough in here, I lose two clubs. If I ditch, um, they just cash the club then and there. So I haven't seen the tenor clubs or anything like that. Uh, yeah, All right. down one. Fifty-seven percent for, I guess, playing the wrong game. Someone bid and made four hearts. Okay, four hearts doubled. <laughs> wow! So if you just jam four hearts, you get penalty double. Well, a takeout double, and they then just convert it to penalties, and you go down one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Other people just bid two hearts and three hearts. They were a lot less optimistic than me. Two hearts and then four hearts, and that gets doubled, and West now converts that to four spades. But some genius actually made this contract, so they doubled and then bid four hearts. So ten of spades, and they roughed. Ace of hearts, king of hearts, ace of diamonds, king of diamonds, diamond. So they just didn't draw trumps. And the robot just catches ace king a club's club. That's strange. Like, I don't know why the robot wouldn't also do what it usually did. But it worked. Can't argue with success there. Um yeah, anyway, fifty seven percent I will take that soon as three now I'm fairly sure is cold from my partner's side. Uh no. Torino is not cold, is it? Like, they can play a heart, and then if you run six hearts and two diamonds, they can unblock the queen jack of diamonds, and then lead a spade through and get one diamond, two spades, and two clubs. So, Torino is not cold. Don't worry. Relax. Um, board number three. Another powerhouse. Let's see if we'll go off in game on this one, too. Uh, we have 20 high card points. And seven diamonds. So, uh, I'd like to have a way where I don't actually have to open this a game force. But if I open this one diamond and my partner responds one of a major, the robots don't have any way of saying, hey, I've got a game forcing hand with six or seven diamonds. What do you want to do about it? Um, I don't think my hand's good enough to game force, but I don't have. Uh, appropriate way to actually bid this hand if I don't open two clubs anyway. So let's overbid this and open two clubs. And then just bid three diamonds. Three spades. My partner's got at least four spades. Um, I just want to say, yeah, no, let's play in diamonds. 
Twice rebuildable. Okay. Like, it says five plus spades, but surely this should be a six card suit. That looks like maybe it's a spot we can play. Okay. Right. This is going to be a really interesting hand. Um, I've led a club which will pick up the club suit. I don't want to uh, draw trumps. Like, if East has, like... Um, I, I have a heart loser here, and if I play, like, spade to the queen, ace of spades, then whenever they get in, they'll just be able to take all of the hearts. Now, what other options do I have? Okay, so I've got no club losers. I've got three heart losers and a spade loser. Um, so I could just play a heart and try and trump a heart. I could play a diamond to the ace and run the queen of diamonds, taking a roughing finesse. Um, or I could... Like, if I play spade to the queen, ace of spades... Uh, if it goes spade to the queen, I'm kind of okay if that loses to the king, and I'm, I'd l want that to lose to the king. If it goes spade to the queen, ace of spades, and I haven't seen the king of spades yet, and then I go ace of diamonds, queen of diamonds, I can discard a heart, but let's say they just win it and catch the king of spades and then two hearts, I'm down. So on that... I'd be going down. Um, if I just exit the king of hearts, they get to win, and I'll always be able to at least trump one heart. So I think that's what we go for. Um, I don't mind if they go, like, spade to the king spade, so um, happy for this to lose to the king. think I was happy for this to lose to the king. Um, <laughs> I was like... Right. So here, uh, e West has shown up with king of spades, queen of hearts. Uh, East has like ace, queen, jack of hearts maybe. They still need like the king of diamonds. Because they've only got, at most, six hearts. So, ace, queen, jack to six hearts. I really think they have the king of diamonds as well. So, if I go ace of diamonds, queen of diamonds, and that loses, then they get to cash a heart. So, I think it's best to go club over to the jack, um, draw trumps, diamond, ace of diamonds, rough a diamond. Um, West, who raised to three hearts, probably has three card heart support. And king fourth spade. Maybe a singleton diamond? I don't know. But uh, we'll start by drawing some trumps. And if I go diamond, ace of diamonds, rough a diamond. Now I can draw one more trump. Diamond discard there. Yeah, beautiful. I didn't even have the beer card. How disappointing. Okay. 92%. I think that one was like a really tricky one about maximizing your chances and if you were a bit sloppy you could easily go down on that even though the king of diamonds was there and it just looked like really comfortably played um comfortable to make um it was interesting to work out which sort of hand i thought had what points if east was not vulnerable i don't think i'd have the same sort of uh option like if i if east was not vulnerable i reckon they would happily bid on like ace queen jack to six and a singleton spade but vulnerable against not, that's like, they gotta, they have to have something. So, I think that worked pretty well. 
Anyway, uh, 92%. So we're finally clawing up the ranks, moving up to 66. Port number four. And a heart pass and no trump. And we've got a 14 count with a shortage in hearts. So, uh, so first of all, I'll, I presume I'll see lots of people bid two diamonds, but I'm not a huge fan of... Um, oh, so... V8, Mama, Mama just said, why did you change from doing a roughing finesse? Uh, so the point, so here, it was mainly counting the high card points. Um, so West had shown up with Queen of Clubs and King of Spades. And I really thought East had to have more than Ace, Queen, Jack of Hearts for, um, for their hand. And... My entries to this hand were kind of limited here. So it looked like East had a singleton spade and six hearts. But if I've got three diamonds, if I go ace of diamonds, rough of diamond, club to the ace, rough of diamond, I can't get back. And if I go ace of diamonds and take the roughing finesse in diamonds, discarding a heart, um, I would have lost... Uh, I'll lose another heart because they've got two. I would have lost the diamond, I've lost the ace of hearts and the king of spades. So thinking East had the king of diamonds because of how many high card points there were, I decided to take the normal normal finesse there. Um, so here, uh, I, I don't really like overcalling two diamonds on such a flimsy suit, especially when East doesn't have any majors. I think double's a lot more of a flexible bid for getting into the auction. So. Um, my partner came in, two spades, sounds good. I don't have a good fit for spades. I don't really want to compete to, like, three diamonds or anything. Wow. Um, strong rebittable clubs. I feel like I should almost double this. This is, like, a terrible auction by, by them. I feel like I got three tricks, but that queen, it doesn't have enough support to guarantee it, so I'll just pass. They bid to five, I'd double that, but... Okay. Um, so, let's just start with the Ace of Spades, I guess. <laughs> what a terrible hand they have there. Alright. Um, so, my partner put the Two of Spades on that. Uh, East has strong rebittable clubs. They might have six clubs. They're going to hook up my clubs anyway. Um, my partner could still have queen fourth spade. Uh, if East has, say, six clubs... Yeah, like, I don't think I'm in a rush to play ace of diamonds diamond or anything like that. So we'll just continue with the spade. So I pinned my partner's stiff jack. All right. Okay, so they have six. All right. Um, the dummy is just going to... I've got six clubs, two spades, at most two hearts. So they've got three diamonds. Um, if they've got two hearts, the hearts aren't going anywhere. I'm just going to exit a club and they will can catch the king of hearts but have to play diamonds out of their hand. And they make, which will be a bad score. 46%, wow. Um, so the double helped them pick up the club suit. Let's start with Ace of Hearts. So here, my Ace of Spades gave up a trick because it gave them two spades to throw stuff away. Ace of Diamonds does the same. Ace of Hearts or a club. Uh, so lots of people that just bid two diamonds got to play there. Other people passed throughout and they got to three clubs. I was the only person that made a takeout double on what I consider pretty normal takeout double hand. Like, here, look, which, which suit is the only suit we've got to fit in is spades. Um, so double brings in that option. Hear from partner what you want to do. 4-3 spade fit's not going to be scary anyway. Um, 
But yeah, so for me, this is a pretty clear takeout double, but helped them pick up the club suit and dropped me down to 46%, but two diamonds, I, I think is wrong, and I, I'm definitely going to be bidding on this hand. Anyway, uh, board number five, and here we've got 13 points of flat hand, so one heart. Not interested in any more. Be surprised if I get it here, but wow, they let me play two hearts. Okay, um, we have a club loser, two heart losers, two spade losers, two diamond losers. Um, the clubs will set up for some discards. My partner's got seven points opposite my 13, so the points are 20 20, West Overcold. Um, so West has like 8 to 13, East has 7 to 12, no, 7. 7 to 11 because they're a past hand, so West is 9 to. Uh, um, club suit here looks like they've led a shortage. When, when I get in, I will want to just go Ace of Hearts, Heart. No fancy plays here. This is scarily bad defense unless they start crossing roughing on me. Okay, they have taken their winners. Um, so what, maybe I could have protected against a uh, four one heartbreak somehow, but um, yeah, Ace of Hearts Heart seemed like sensible. Plus 110, 71%. I bit a heart and did nothing else. A lot of people going down. Um, Ten of clubs, they false carded with the king. Spade shift, spade continuation, they won. Unblocking the club seems like not the best bet. Because now it allows them like more options for for roughing. They really should be drawing some trumps at some point. Yeah, so seventy one percent for just like all the early stuff didn't matter there except not drawing the trumps. Seventy one percent for just opening my balance thirteen count and drawing trumps as soon as possible seems a remarkably generous score. But uh, yeah, sixty three percent, three boards to play. And here we've got um, flat, well, not flat, but thir semi balanced 13 count. One heart, three hearts. This is a four card invite. Um, so we've got a 10 card heart fit, which makes me just want to automatically bid four hearts. Um, but it's pretty, like, I don't have any aces, queen, jack, doubleton, jack, doubleton. These aren't great cards, but I'm still going to bid four hearts just because we've got a 10 card fit. If this was a three card invite, I wouldn't be bidding game here. Okay. Well, my Queen Jack Dalton's useless, uh, but I got two club losers, but I can trump one of them. I have a spade loser, but I can take a finesse. And hearts, we have, we're missing the ace queen. So we've got two heart losers. I've got a couple of options, but usually the best way to do this is just finesse the queen. Um, West led the ace of clubs, and the robots, I think, lead king from ace king. So I think East has the king of clubs. So diamond, and we'll just lead a club. Yeah, so East hasn't uh, done anything. So at this stage... Um, Okay, that solves that. Uh, okay, West dropped the queen. It's almost certain that I can just discard that and draw trumps. So that was a really bad hop of the ace of hearts there by East. 75%. Uh, some people passing three hearts. The 10 card fit, I think, just makes you want to do it. Um, the north hand should probably just bid four clubs splinter over one heart like they've got enough to game for so and i think this is a fair representation of the usual um 
four card invitational hands like I definitely would be game forcing with this hand um, but uh, 11 tricks there the spade finesse worked you can guess the hearts but uh, east topping up with the ace don't really see any good reason for doing that so like they'll try to give their partner a rough in clubs or something if their partner had ace doubleton um, but yeah anyway uh two boards left to play Currently running at 65% in rank number one. And here we have uh, six, 12, 14 points. Pretty rubbish 14. Start with one club. Partner doubled showing four hearts. Two diamonds is constructive, but we're gonna compete to two hearts. Three clubs, forcing to three hearts. Um, so they're showing like an invite here, but I really don't wanna be bidding game with all these points out so let's just go low i don't have any aces i like aces okay so my partner's got nine points um and we get a diamond lead so we've got nine opposite 13 so 22 18 points missing looks like east probably has maybe queen jack of diamonds and ace of clubs and west is like ace queen of spades king of clubs anyway i got two spade losers i've got a diamond loser that i want to trump and i need to pick up the clubs and if they're three two i just want to lead clubs up to the queen jack a couple of times so i play a heart to the king If they're 4 1, I. Yep, so they're 4 1. So East has like five diamonds, two spades. Um, so I think now is a good time to lead clubs up. They might be able to get a club rough. And they might be able to get a spade rough, but they can't really get both. Okay, ace of clubs, that's good news. Okay, so win that, and I wanted to trump that diamond. Lead another club up. Okay, clubs broke. They didn't get a club rough, so we win that, we draw a trump. Jack of clubs, and club over. Queen was there, okay. 100%! Nice, like, that, they could have beaten me, so that they could have always gotten that club rough, but um, basically I was hoping that East had... Uh, one spade and three clubs and they weren't able to untangle the rough um, but they could have beaten me but failed to do so so three hearts worked well so first of all um, two people bid on to four hearts so someone opened a no trump which if you apply the let's open 14 counts that'll work uh, get you way too high but this was like a, a terrible Terrible 14 count. Now, I was just double taking I had 14. Terrible 14 count such that even when my partner invited, I declined. Like, I like aces. My partner showed up with two of them and I still couldn't make um, four hearts. Um, three hearts. So, take that 100%. Move me up to 70%. Um, so, the opponents had a chance there. They missed the opportunity um, to get that rough. Uh, but uh, it still worked well. And just preserving a little bit of care, making sure I didn't get tapped out. When trumps were an issue, I started working on the side suit, paid dividends. Um, so at the very least, I was getting like 85% if I was in the down one camp. But uh, moving on to board number eight. And here we've got 14 highs, four, five, three, one. Uh, so I've got a hand that fits into both overcalling a heart and a takeout double. But with a five card major, I like to overcall and then try and make a takeout double subsequently. But we found a heart fit. So the question is, do I want to bid game? Do I want to compete to three hearts or do I want to defend? 
So uh, I have 14 high card points and my partner's got six to nine. Um, if they've got six, I probably don't want to be in game. Um, if they've got nine, game's pretty good with ace bidding one club, three clubs. They'll have all the values. Uh, so maybe I'll just make a game try with three diamonds. This is like just like the only bid between three hearts and um, where we are now. So it's just a game try and partner's like, nah, I'm not interested. So we'll leave it there. Okay. And as you can see, partner's hand is pretty rubbish. Uh, we have a club loser, a diamond loser, they've led spades, so probably no spade loser. And we've got to pick up hearts. My partner's got four, six points opposite my uh, 14. So the points are 20, 20. East has like 16-ish, so West might be capped at four. If I'm just looking at the heart suit, the best way to play hearts is low to the nine. I'm playing for East for king 10 third or queen 10 third. But with all the bidding, that might change up a bit. Um, I could just play for one club, one diamond, and two heart losers, and just bang down ace of hearts heart um, after this lead. If I play a club... Okay, so if I play a diamond, east might get a rough of a spade, because spades might be 4-1. So I think trying to cut down that and just go ace of hearts heart is fair. It also, I won't lose two hearts if there's like king queen doubleton. So we'll go with that. Okay, so therefore one, uh, they've still got the king and the ten. Um, so that's not good. Uh, so at this stage, I'm going to go down one. And I've still got two heart tricks. I could have potentially done something earlier. Like if I just played ace of hearts and then trusted their, their king, um, I might have been able to do something, but I don't think so. 71%. Um, some people got to two spades. Ah, oh, they probably made a takeout double. Um, other people got to four hearts. So when they got the heart raise, most people were just bidding four hearts. Um, as I said, I didn't really want to be in game opposite six count. Three hearts seemed like a perfectly sensible spot when my partner had some useful cards, uh, but the hearts breaking really bad sort of destroyed that. Um, so... Getting out for down one worked out pretty well. So plus 50 um, overall finished with 70%. Um, so it, it's, it's not often that I make an invitational bid, but this one seemed about right. Um, Cause my partner as a past end only mustered up two hearts. So narrow range worked well there. Um, but uh, yeah, that was this week's weekly free instant tournament. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, my favorite board was probably board seven, uh, the hundred percent, obviously. Uh, but just sort of trying to untangle this and keep control as long as possible. So I thought that one was pretty interesting. Um, board three, uh, this board was also super interesting as well, uh, about trying to keep control of the Trump suits and which side suits to play on and then what you know about the missing hands. So I think both of them reflected the same sort of uh, sort of challenges uh, really enjoyed both of them so um, hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament uh, big shout out to all my patron supporters um, we ticked over 100 uh, we're going to be starting up a triple dummy podcast with uh, me and Nick Jacob unfortunately uh, Elena's not available she's doing um, a PhD so doesn't quite have that much time um, but we have a fantastic replacement of Susan Humphreys that will be joining us and I believe the first one we're doing will be on March 3rd. Um, so coming out shortly after that. So look forward to seeing that. Um, thanks to all my patrons for supporting me because without them, wouldn't be able to do uh, stuff like Triple Dummy. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.